Oh, don't ask her. <laughs> it is Moose's birthday today. It's no joke. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another little vlog. It is Monday today. It's the 1st of July. So new month, new week, new vlog. It's so satisfying when a new month falls on a Monday. <sighs> Something about it. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Just made myself a cup of tea. I'm just working from home, but I wanted to just check in and say hello. I started this week off with a lovely little hot Pilates class. I tried one last week and I, it's no joke. I made the error of my first hot Pilates class being like, Pilates class? Who do I think I am? My first hot Pilates class being a strength class. So it was all like weights and burpees and it's like 30 degrees in there. It was just, not a good time, a great workout, but not a good time. So I learnt my lesson and today I went for a hot Pilates flow class. Actually, I think this was a hot yoga flow class. So a little bit more chill, still a workout, don't get me wrong. Um, I don't do a lot of yoga, I'm more of a Pilates girly, specifically a reformer Pilates girly. So this was a nice change, something a bit different. Um, I was still sweating, because obviously it's hot, you're moving, you're holding poses, you're like planking. Like you're still moving around and doing stuff and I feel like my arms already are aching a bit. So a really good workout, but also a lot of breath work, quite relaxing, a really nice way to start the day and start the week. And then I just spent the rest of the day sorting out the house, working from home, doing little bits, bobs there here and there while I can. Uh, Moose was a bit unwell this morning. I think he had, he had a big bone last night, so I think that didn't agree with him. So he had a little sickie this morning. So we washed all of the um, throws that we keep on the sofa for this exact reason and all the cushion covers and all that kind of stuff. So that was a nice task to start the day. I actually wasn't here when it happened, so bless Chris dealt, dealt with that one. He's feeling much better now. He's back to his old self. Yeah, we've got a few little admin -y tasks to do this week. We have a meeting with a photographer for our wedding after work today. If you saw last week's video, which was like a fortnight video, we had a meeting with a videographer and we were really happy with her. So going ahead and locking her in and then we're gonna have a meeting with a photographer. So hopefully, both those things will be locked in this week, which is great wedding progress. I really wanna make something like yummy and warming for dinner tonight. We have loads of vegetables from when we went to the market at the weekend. So I'm thinking of doing like a big vegetable soup and I bought some really nice, like rustic um, sourdough bread. Ooh, looks so good. Um, so I think I might do like a nice warming soup. We've got some beans and things like that. So I need to find a recipe and I can hopefully start that in a couple of hours when I finish work. That's where we're at. I want to start off this video and I will check in with you later when we're making soup. It's soup time. Just roasted up all my veggies and made a bit of a stock and now I'm going to put the veggies in the stock to kind of boil up and then we're going to blitz. We have on this tray we have onions, cauliflower and pumpkin. And then tray number two has carrots and parsnips. A lot of carrots actually. Some like mixed herbs, some curry powder, salt and pepper, I think a bit of paprika. We've got everything going on. The good thing about a soup is that you can just put in whatever you've got. So these are just some veggies that were sitting in our fridge we've had for like a week or so, we're starting to go a bit soft. Now I need to put the lid on that and let it simmer for like 10 minutes and then we start to blend. Okay, it's blending time. I think I'm gonna use my ladle. I'm excited, I'm actually really hungry. This is the size of the cup, my crusty old Nutribullet. So let's see how many of these we're gonna have to do. I don't wanna overfill, prepare your ears. What? <sighs> this happens every time it gets like vacuum sealed somehow because of the heat. I don't know the science. <sighs> Strong independent woman. I don't wanna grip it with my bare hand because it's hot. Clean my legs. Well, he's on the way back. I guess I'll do the bread <laughs> and wait for him to return. She looks great. I just can't, um, can't get her out. Here she is. I managed to do it on my own before Chris even got back. Wow. Beautiful, blended, creamy, steamy. We have bread, we have butter. Chef's kiss. Thank 
can buy a thread thing. I don't really want that right now, thank you. Good morning, my loves. It is Wednesday morning. Another freezing morning in Melbourne. It was one degree this morning, which was fun. I got up and went to Hot Pilates at 7 a.m., which was actually really, well, I'm not gonna say it nice because it was tough again, but I think it's a nice thing to do on like a cold winter's morning. I can't imagine doing it in summer, to be honest. I feel like that would be hell. It's nice to like get all bundled up and go and then just be in a hot room and be able to be in like a vest top and shorts and be warm. And then when you go out into the cold again, it's like a relief rather than being like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. I was in the office all day yesterday and then I went and met Sarah after work and we did a run in the city. And the goal was to do a shorter run but at a faster pace so we did a 5k at like a 535 pace normally our longer runs are like just over six minute kilometers so yeah a faster pace for us and um yeah it felt it was really good it was nice so i also need to do a longer run in the morning oh how long is it it's like two and a bit weeks i think to this half marathon let me check yep just over two weeks so this is the final push now does feel like I'm running constantly and obviously the distance is amping up so I'm kind of ready for it to be over I've got to do like an 8k between 8 and 10ks in the morning and then um on Saturday on my plan it's 20k which just seems very excessive when the half marathon is like 21 point something so I'm thinking maybe I'd do a shorter like a 16 but try and do it at a faster pace than my last one that's where my head's at I'm excited to do the half marathon um, but I'm kind of ready for the training to be over because it does take up a huge portion of your life. Keeps you busy, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm talking to my sister after work. We're having a little business meeting for our jewellery business, Dainty Designs. Pop the info up here and in the description box so you can go have a look and go shop. We finally managed to get access back to our TikTok, which is really exciting. And we've been figuring out a TikTok shop. And we are looking at potentially bringing some new products. So all very exciting stuff, a lot happening. So we have been chatting quite a bit about it recently and we're gonna have a little meeting after work today. So that'd be nice to have a catch up with her and to get some exciting things happening. As I mentioned before, we're going to Greece in like eight weeks and I'll be seeing my sister there for a portion of the trip and my mum and my dad. We were saying it's a really good opportunity for us to get some content. So I think we're gonna have a bit of a plan of that as well. What we can shoot when we're out there, bit of a Euro summer photo shoot <laughs> the last thing i wanted to fill you in on sorry to just yap at you constantly but we have book club on sunday which is so exciting it's been i think a couple of months since our last book club all the girlies have been busy one went off to get married another was on holiday so um yeah this sunday was the first day in a long time we could all actually get together and um yeah i'm really excited i need to power through this book though because i'm really behind where is it the book is called before the coffee gets cold let me get it for you because you might want to see it here she is this is the book club book and this was written by a Japanese author. Um, I'm not even gonna try and butcher the name, um, but it was a bestseller in Japan and then has been translated into English. Yeah, it's a really interesting concept. It's about like a cafe where you can travel in time, but you can only stay there until your coffee gets cold. So you can't go back for long. And it's like all kind of separate stories, like different people and the different reasonings for going back. So the concept is super interesting. I've just finished the first little story. I think there's four. Um, so I'm excited to read more. It's a thin book, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get through it in the next four days. I need to get a crack on. But um, yeah, I love doing book club. I love reading things I would never have usually picked up. For example, this. The last one we did was a non-fiction book, which I never, ever, ever read. So that was something, again, really different for me. So um, yeah, I just love the whole concept. And it's just fun to get together with the girlies, have a catch up and chat about books. How wholesome is that? Anyway, that's all. Sorry for yapping at you for so long. I'm going to do some work now. Talk to you later. Good morning, my loves. Ignore my little roller. I'm trying to get my fringe to have a bit of volume in it. It is Thursday morning and I'm just making myself some breakfast. I'm going to a meeting offsite today and then into the office. So the makeup's on, the hair is in progress. I need to get dressed, but I did a run this morning. Very, very cold run. I did an 8K. I'm trying to do my slightly shorter distances at a faster pace. So I tried to go a little bit quicker this morning, which I always find really difficult first thing when I haven't eaten. It was tough, it was cold, but we got it done and I'm really happy with how I did. So that's a nice start to the day. I'm glad that's out of the way. In other very exciting and important news, it is Moose's birthday today, which is just so cute, but also just like the thought of him getting older 
causes me pain. He's only three. <laughs> I know this is very dramatic. He is still a baby, it's fine. He's fit and healthy. He has many, many years left in him. His best years, some might say. That's fine, don't grow any bigger than three. You break my heart. Moosey, it's your birthday. You're three today. You're such a big boy. Look at you being a mountain goat. Fourth of July, he's a little Independence Day baby. Um, cancer season. He is a cancer, he does cry a lot if I'm not giving him attention, so it makes sense. He's just everything to me, my little best mate. So go wish Moose a happy birthday down in the comments, please. I'll pass every single message on. I sang happy birthday to him this morning when I gave him a little fancy breakfast. He had some sardines in there, some blueberries, all of his faves. And I was singing happy birthday to him and he was like, woman, shut up and just let me eat my food. He did not know what was going on, but he listened intently the whole time. I'm also excited for this evening because we're going to pop, oh look at that steam. <laughs> we're going to do a pub quiz, which has become a little like Thursday evening ritual, which I just love. Pub quiz is so fun. And it's such a nice, like affordable way for everyone to meet up and like get together with friends in the week. And every time we've done it so far, we've come third, which is actually really good going for us. Like I've never, I think I've ever placed in a quiz before, but this team, something about this team, we've got it. So. We need to either consistently say third or try and work our way up to the jackpot. But either way, it's a bit of fun. Gets us out on a Thursday evening. It's nice in winter when you don't really tend to go out in the evenings because it's like dark and miserable. It's like the perfect winter evening activity. So that's the plan. That's the update. I just want to check in and um, I'll chat to you later. Saturday. I'm just about to go for a run. Got my vest on, I'm just packing my vest. We've got a mic, we've got headphones, we've got keys. Just about to portion out some of my little energy gels into some foil because I don't want to take all of these. I think the plan is today to do about 16k, but just try and do it a little bit quicker than last time, which I need to check. In she goes. Yeah, and the plan is I think to finish off down at the beach and then Chris is going to come with Moose and meet me there and we can all finish off at the beach together, go and get a little coffee, chill out. So that's the game plan, so I need to get cracking. Just wanted to fill you in on last night. We went to the cinema and watched The Quiet Place day one, which honestly I wasn't that keen for when we first were talking about it, but then I watched the trailer and it looked interesting and I did really enjoy it. I thought it was going to be more of a horror, but it was actually not that scary. There was a few little jumpy parts, but um, it was more... I don't know how you explain it, not really a thriller. A dystopian? I did enjoy it more than I thought I would anyway. I thought it was quite good. The only issue was because it's such a quiet film, obviously the whole premise of like a quiet place um, is that you can't make any sound because then the creatures will know where you are and come and kill you. So obviously for the majority of the film, it's like completely silent and it was a full cinema and you could just hear every little whisper, rustle, munch, sip from everyone around you and I was like, I felt myself getting really annoyed that like, all I could hear was people and I was like I feel like this would have been a better film to watch on like at home in the quiet <laughs> so you didn't have that distraction um so that was my only feedback but as I said we were in a full full screening so take my lip balm for my dry little winter lips so my last 16k let's have a look Ooh, so my last 16 I did in six minute kilometers so on average we need to try and beat that it's gonna be a challenge, but we can do it. I've fueled myself with some porridge, protein powder in there, peanut butter, honey, and a coffee. So I've done all I can do at this point. Now I just have to go and do it. So fingers crossed, pray for me. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Oh, that's gross. What are you doing here? 
He is a Vegemite scroll lover, isn't he? Ironically, that's why you get the chocolate, so you don't have to give him any of your... That's not why I get the chocolate, I just really like the chocolate, but it's a nice bonus. Mmm. Oh, a lot of cheese. There's a lot of cheese. That's more than normal, isn't it? It's a good one. Well deserved in my eyes. Diet starts tomorrow. Look at that for speed, I don't know if you can see anything. Rapido. That is my PR for 15k. Distance. I'm very proud of that. Definitely the fastest long run I've ever done. Got to do five more K. <laughs> mm. Which I don't know if I would be able to at that pace because I was really struggling. I think if you were to carry on at that pace, or if you were to try to carry on, you'd end up, average pace would go up anyway. Yeah, definitely. Maybe I should have started a bit slower. Did you start off at that pace? What were yeah. you split? Mm. Pretty consistent to be fair. Yeah, my first K was 5.30, then 5.30, 5.28, 5.27. It's a bit of a hill. 5.15, don't know what happened there. 5.29, 5.30, 5.30, 5.36. Oh, there you go. Which is decent. And it felt good. Like, I remember the first few K, I was like, why does this feel okay? Because I should not be running at this pace. Sometimes you just feel like that. But mm. I always feel like that in the mornings when I run. But normally I struggle in the mornings. Because you haven't eaten. Yeah, but this morning I had porridge with protein powder. So I think maybe that helped, the protein. Mm. Good morning, my loves. It is Monday morning. I honestly couldn't even tell you what I last filmed. I don't really remember. Maybe Saturday? I don't think I filmed anything yesterday. But I'm just getting ready for work and I am running late. I have to leave at about 10 minutes and I'm absolutely not close to being ready. But hey, I thought I would just fill you in on the rest of the weekend because I think the last thing I showed you was something on Saturday. So the rest of Saturday night, we really just had the most chilled evening. We did a few little tasks, a bit of a clear out of the spare room, and then I was just so exhausted from my run. We ended up having a bit of wine, sitting on the sofa. We watched um, the new episode of The Boys that's come out. We also watched some of the Kardashians. It was just very relaxing. And then on Sunday, what did we do? Oh, we woke up at the absolute crack of dawn because England are playing in the Euros. And so obviously we had to get up ridiculously early to watch that. They're playing um, in Germany, so because of time difference. So I think it started like 2 a.m. our time, but we woke up like maybe 5, 5.30 and watched the whole thing. And of course there was half an hour of extra time and then there was penalties. So by the time they'd finished, it was like 7.30 or something. So we were like, well, I guess we're up now. So um, it was a very early Sunday morning. And then we went on a little walk, got a coffee, got some breakfast. And then Chris went to do his long run, did really, really well. And me and Moosey went to meet him at the end, like he did for me on Saturday. So that was really nice. And then got another coffee. He got some food. <laughs> it was a lot of just walking around, eating, chilling, drinking. And then um, I did a few little bits of life admin at home. And then I went and met the girls and we had a Sunday roast, which was just stunning. We were supposed to be doing book club as well. And I did finish the book just in time. Um, but we ended up deciding just to do book club another day because one some of the girls hadn't quite finished the book and two um sarah wasn't feeling well so she couldn't make it but she had read the book so we were saying like let's just 
park it for a week or so and we'll come back and do book club again. We also like all haven't got together in so, so long. We were just chatting and catching up for ages, yapping away and chatting anyway. We all kind of agreed. We don't think there's time for book club in this conversation. <laughs> we'll have a separate book club and this can just be a roast and a catch up with the girls. That was just really lovely, wholesome few hours. It was such a cute little pub. We went to, I think it was called the Court House up in North Melbourne and it was so cute and cozy and they had a fireplace going roast was great it's an ideal situation we got home did a little bit of meal prepping and then i spoke to my family on facetime which was really lovely i had a good old catch up with them so really when you wake up at 5 30 you can squeeze a lot into the day apparently because i feel like that day went on and on i'm going into the office hence why i'm actually putting an effort into my appearance i was supposed to wash my hair this morning but i don't have time because i could not get myself out of bed it took me a while so now i'm just re slicking I am going to Pilates today after work, so I suppose it's not the worst thing. It's going to get sweaty anyway, and then I can wash it after that. So I've just got to deal with one more day of the slick. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. just wanted to catch you up on everything I got up to for the rest of the weekend. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're not already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Turn on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I'm trying to be more regular with the vlogging at the moment, as you can probably tell. And um, yeah, have a lovely day, whatever day it is for you, and I will see you soon.